<sighs> it's morning. <sighs> Did I have a mission today? Where are you meeting? Mm, Hidden Leaf Gate. Then don't be late. Okay, I'm heading out. Take See care. You later. It's been a while since we got together like this. That's because you've been busy cleaning up the Zero case, Konohamaru-sensei. Yeah, it's been hard. Don't sweat it. So, what's our mission this time? It's to find a pet. What? Again? Didn't we do something like that before? A lot of pets ran away during all the commotion. There are still animals that haven't been found. Our job today is to find and capture them. This sounds like a pretty tough job, Boruto. Boruto? What? I yeah. Um, what did you say? Hey, were you even listening? This is our first mission in a while. Do I need to be worried about you? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good under pressure. Okay, mission accomplished. That took longer than I thought it would. Sorry, it's because I messed up. Do you have your head in the game? You keep dropping the ball. That's why I'm apologizing. I promise to make it up to you. That's not the issue. Konohamaru-sensei, can we be done for the day? Yes, I don't have any more missions for you. Okay, it's a wrap. Good job, everyone. Oh, hold on! See you, Konohamaru-sensei. Okay. Hey, Boruto. What? You've been feeling down for a while now. Is it about Nanashi? <sighs> I thought so. So, what does it matter what I think about? It's a free country. Yeah, but if your head's not in the game during a mission, then it starts to affect me. I already told you I was sorry. Look, just tell me what's on your mind. It might make you feel a little better. We're teammates, aren't we? There's something I've been wondering since fighting Merits. I've been wondering what I could have done to save Nanashi. I've read the report. Judging from the situation, I think it would have been very difficult to save her. The Seventh and Mr. Sasuke had used all their strength, and you were worn out too, right? Not to mention the forbidden curse ring they created puts a heavy toll on the target. You sure did your homework. The information about the forbidden curse is something I learned from my parent. <laughs> Still, I can't help but think there was something I could have done. That's what keeps swirling around in my head, and I lose focus. It's pathetic, I know. Poor Adele. Oh! Hey, why don't the three of us play Ninja Heroes again? Huh? I bet you haven't played since everything happened. This might be the diversion you need. But... If you play one of your favorite games, I bet you'll start feeling a little less sorry for yourself. Come on, you in, Mitsuki? Yeah. That's that, then. We'll meet there when we're done. See you later, then! Man, she can be pushy. That's just her way of looking out for you. Yeah, I know that, but... Ninja Heroes. It's been a while since I've been back. Uh, 
Of course she wouldn't be here. Where are the rest of them? They haven't arrived yet? Boruto. Oh, Toneri. We need to talk. Come to the Time Reservoir. I've already called your other team members. What do you need to talk to us about? I'll tell you there. I'll be waiting. What the? Uh, uh, Boruto? You wanted to talk? First of all, I want to say good job for safely resolving the case in the real world. I wouldn't say safely. I know the reason behind your distress. That's why I've maintained this space. What do you mean? This space should have disappeared after Nanashi passed, but Tonari has been keeping it open. Really? The world doesn't know that. They think Kaminarimon Company has taken over development. You can't fault them for that. There's no way they could know that Tonari was involved. Back to the point. The reason I've continued to maintain this place is to bring about a miracle. It is a forbidden measure. That's only possible within this space. Okay, this is getting serious. What exactly are you trying to do? Change history. M meddle with history? Correct. Before, I had asked you to visit the past to recover Naruto's memory. There was a limit to it, and you couldn't meddle with any of the events. But now... I'm talking about allowing you to meddle. You can change a person's history. What? But that's... Normally, interfering with history would be impossible. However, if three special conditions are fulfilled, the opportunity opens for a brief moment. What are those three conditions? The first is to use an unstable space that's capable of controlling the principles of time as a source. Principles of time? Space? In other words, ninja heroes. Exactly. This space was created through the use of Tsukuyomi. Therefore, the passage of time is ambiguous, making it easy to create a connection to the past. The second condition is for it to be the night of a full moon. In order to open time, you have to use the natural ley line flowing through the Earth. The ley line is most active when there is a full moon. It's important to determine the best opportunity in order to use its power to the fullest. When's the next full moon? Tomorrow. And lastly... You need an object that signifies a connection between the person in the present and the person in the past. The object must have both people's chakra mixed inside. That will draw them together. But isn't that difficult? I mean, if they live in different time periods, how could they ever have their chakras mixed together? Normally, no. That's why meddling with history is said to be impossible. However... Without it, you would be stuck wandering inside a time rift forever, without any guideposts. Boruto, you should know. There's already something here in this world that connects you to her. <gasps> Is that true, Boruto? Right now, we have the two conditions fulfilled. If we bring the final one. You will be able to go back to Nanashi Uchiha's distant past, and save her, just like you wish. Wow. But what do you mean by distant past? Just as I said, the distant past. The Warring States period, when Nanashi was alive. What? But then... That's fine. Boruto... Saving Nanashi during that time period would be the best thing for her. Right, Toneri? The Warring States period is the age that shaped Nanashi. That was her turning point. If I could save Nanashi then... 
Tomorrow night. If you want to change Nanashi's past, bring the object that signifies your connection with her here tomorrow night. Got it. What are you guys doing here? I thought you might have forgotten. How could I forget? This is my chance to save Nanashi. But do you really have the object Tonari talked about? Yeah, there's something she gave me. I just need to get it back. Huh? huh? The necklace? I'm real sorry, but I need you to give that back to me. What do you mean? Is Himawari's necklace the thing you got from Nanashi? Yeah, she gave it to me right before she died. It's really important to me. It's ours. Both of ours. This Kiseki. It's small, but so important. So the stone on this necklace is both your Kiseki? Since we didn't get Dad's necklace, I decided to loan it to Himawari to take its place. I see. You're right. There isn't anything that could connect the two of you more than this. Right? Okay. Himawari, are you sure? You were feeling down for a long time. But you seem really happy today. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... Do your best! I'll do my best. Thanks, Himawari! <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Oh, you two are here. We want to see how it will turn out. Did you get the object that connects you to Nanashi? Yeah. Oh crap, that's from the real world, so there's no way I can bring it here. That's true. I thought it would follow me if I kept a good grip on it. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you had it on, you'll be able to call it. Whoa! Now we have everything. I will now open a door that connects to the past, using the ninja hero's environment as a source. Using the ley line will open the door. Then, using Boruto and Nanashi's combined Kiseki, will send you to the past. All that would be left is for you to save her in the past. It'd fix everything. It's finally time. What is it, Toneri? Before you meddle with history, there is one important decision you have to make. Decision? What decision am I going to have to make after coming this far? Let's say you change history and safely resolve Nanashi's past. Yeah, that's why I'm going back. But when you save Nanashi, Zero's revolt would never happen. What? Nanashi was the key to Zero's revolt. However, if you go into the past and save Nanashi, and she leads a life that didn't have her ending up being sealed. The chance of Nanashi ever appearing in our present day would be gone too. Without Nanashi as their key, Zero wouldn't be able to revolt. In other words, Zero's revolt never would have happened. In turn, you would have never stopped the revolt, including going back to your father's past. <laughs> One more thing. If Zero's revolt never happened, there's another really important event that would also be negated. Mitsuki. You'll figure it out if you follow the timeline. 
We only learned about Nanashi through Ninja Heroes. Ninja Heroes is a space Nanashi created to further Zero's plans. Their plan only worked with her ability. But if you save Nanashi, there would be no future of her helping Zero. Which means Zero's plan would never have progressed, and Ninja Heroes would never have been created. That means there was never an opportunity for us to meet Nanashi in the first place. In other words... We won't have a connection to Nanashi either. So that's what you meant, Mitsuki. Oh no... You have to make this decision. Will you choose a future with a connection to Nanashi? Or will you go back to the past and save her? Even if it means sacrificing your connection to her? <laughs> it's not a hard decision to make. What do you mean? I never had a choice to begin with. I'm gonna save Nanashi, no matter what. Even if it means erasing everything that's happened? Yeah, that's fine. As long as it means I can save Nanashi. You'll go to the past for her, even if it means losing your connection? Yeah, even if it means that. Besides, it won't be that easy to lose a connection you make. I'm not planning on forgetting about her at all. But if by some chance I do forget about Nanashi, I'll still have what's important in my heart. That's what I believe. That's my answer. I'm going to the past to save Nanashi. <laughs> you never had a choice to begin with. I asked you to make this decision already knowing this. You really are a strong child. Well, I'm off then, Sarda. See you, Miski. Just like you did with me. Your light will surely reach her too. You'll be okay. I know that there's no point in trying to stop you. So do what you think is right. Got it! O oh, door of distant memories. We offer principle as the price, and ley line as the source. Guide him to his other. May there be a miracle. You'll be able to travel to the past by going through this door. The Kiseki should bring you close to Nanashi. But after that, it's up to you. I know, I know. You will only be able to remain in the past until morning. Once dawn comes, you will be drawn back to the present. You must save her by then. Toneri. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna knock this out of the park. <laughs> Thank me after you succeed. <laughs> you got it. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you the things I couldn't then. I'll be back. Right. Good luck. So this is the past. Didn't he say I'd be brought close to Nanashi? Over there looks pretty suspect. Hold on, Nanashi. Now what do I do? I need to find Nanashi. Toka's brother died. That makes five. Damn it! Those Senju bastards. The rivers will run red with their blood tomorrow. Get Nanashi ready. Okay. Did he just say Nanashi? Nice. They'll lead me right to her. That's a lucky break. Hey! Who the hell are you? 
Uh-oh. I'm asking who you are. Oh, well, what can I say? I'm a new Chiha clan fan. Who is he? I don't know, but he doesn't seem like an amateur. He could be a spy. We'll take a closer look at him later. Throw him in the cell. Okay. The rest of you, prepare for tomorrow. <sighs> Where am I? A prison. Oh, right. I remember now. They captured me. Well, I can't be wasting any of my time in here. Do you want to die? Seriously? It's set to burn? Hey, thank you. If you hadn't said anything, I absolutely would have been toast. So, uh, I didn't know that there was anyone else in here. You got caught too, huh? Guess it's not our lucky day. But this is perfect. Look, I know this is a weird thing to ask someone you just met, but I'm looking for someone. Maybe you know her. She's Uchiha clan's... Are you even listening? I don't need to. It has nothing to do with me. Hey, wait. Nanashi! So what? Huh? Oh, wow, it's you! So this is where you were all this time. Man, what are the chances, huh? I'm glad, though. I'm glad I ran into you. Okay, first objective accomplished. Next, we just need to get out of this place together. What? You don't think that we'll be able to get out? Don't worry. I can break down the bars of this cell with my jutsu. You can leave on your own. Huh? I'm a weapon. I only exist to fight for the clan. Use my jutsu as I'm ordered and destroy the enemy. I don't cry. I don't react. I don't run. I bear through the pain, then I die. I wait in this prison cell until I receive my orders. I don't go outside no matter what. That is my mission. I must follow these orders. Or I... Or I... No. You're not meant to be living in this sad and dark place. You're not just a tool for war. You have to walk down your own path. I... I... There's no way. I can't let them do this to you. I'm gonna get you out of here. I don't know exactly how all this works, but Jutsu are blocked in here, I guess. She's been locked in here all this time. Break it open! On! Don't be stupid. Just give up! It's not stupid. And besides, a path will always open up for you, as long as you don't quit! My dad knows this well. That's how he made it so far. And now me. I've come this far because I 
won't give up! <sighs> Stop. Knock it off. I've already given up. I'm ready for things to stick. Don't give in to some fate someone made for you. Deciding for yourself. Shaping it yourself. And all of that is what makes it your own. Long isn't in here. Why? Why are you helping me? What was that? It came from the cell! Damn it! They must have noticed that. Time to go! <laughs> they broke the seal? Who could have done that? Could it be the Senju? Then are they after Nanashi? Don't let Nanashi get away. Capture her at any cost. Once we're free, no one's ever gonna use you again. But... Uh... Don't worry. I'll protect you. Until we get somewhere safe. <sighs> Nanashi, trust me, okay? She's not here! Keep looking. She couldn't have gone far. <sighs> there! No! You're that kid from before! Oh, you'll pay for this. Where's Nanashi? Beats me. We ran in different directions, so I've got no idea. You were both seen escaping together. It's no use trying to protect her. We got separated along the way. She's not here. Hiding her won't do you any good. I told you, I don't know where she is. <laughs> You've got some guts, kid. But you shouldn't be messing with adults. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. If I tell you, her life will become miserable again. She's not miserable. Her existence will bring us victory. Fighting for your clan is what makes a true ninja. You treat her like a weapon. You don't even see her as a ninja. How do you know that? However, that is the fate of those born during this age. Those who fight as ninja. Those who are used as weapons. The give-and-take relationship makes the clan stronger. Then it's okay if it means someone's life is ruined? That's war. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm never gonna let you make her... suffer again! Just heard him. We'll make him spill where Nanashi is and which clan he belongs to. Yeah. Just don't kill him. Whoa, better pull back. Meet these guys. All I can do is buy enough time for her to get away. Here goes! 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 Here goes!
stubborn. Here goes! He's no ordinary kid. Don't let your guard down. Here goes! Here goes! Managed to make it this far. I hope now she got away. Better pull back. Here goes! Here goes! This way! Here goes! These blows are too much. So this is the Warring States period. I hope she got away. He... He just helped me on a whim. It was just by chance that he happened to save me, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. So I just need to run away. There are no good people in this world. Why don't you give up already? I'm not done! <laughs> I figured. I haven't known you for long, but I can see that you're quite the ninja. I think it's time. Out of respect, I won't hold back. Fire Damn it. This is it? It's fine, as long as she got away. Amaterasu? <sighs> Nanashi! I knew it. Why? Why'd you come back? While I was here fighting, you should have just run! I don't understand. I don't understand why either. But... but... Whether it was by chance, or just a whim... Till now... There's been nobody. No one's ever helped me like this. And... Nanashi. You know what will happen if you go against us. There is a heavy punishment for treason. Understand? I... I... <laughs> Shut up already. Nana, she's not yours. Don't you get it? She doesn't belong to you. Not any longer. Nobody ordered her to do anything. She chose this. She chose to come back on her own. And she sure didn't come here in order to fight you. It's so she can walk her own path. <gasps> Don't give in to some fate someone made for you. And besides, a path will always open up for you, as long as you don't quit. Deciding for yourself, making it yourself. That's what makes it your own fate. <sighs> Nanashi. Yes. If shaping it myself, if deciding it for myself, if doing all that is making my own fate, and choosing to fight alongside you is also my decision. 
Why are the words from someone I just met making me feel this way? Well, I still don't understand it. But, out of all the people that I've ever met, you are... Your words are different. And, for some reason, I felt that. That's why. From here on, I am going to fight for my own fate. Just watch. Yanashi? Your hand! Yeah. Is this Yachioko? Whoa! That's all the chakra I gathered. I've given it to you. Can you fight? <laughs> yeah, you bet. Of course I can. We'll win this! Now we have to face Nanoshi? This will be tough. But we can't let her get away! This will be the final fight. Let's go! Damn it! I wasn't expecting Yachihoko! Be careful! If she used Yachihoko, that means that kid has a lot of power! Nanoshi! Who said you could do that? Nobody did. Nanashi decided this for herself. She doesn't need your permission. She's free to do what she wants because she's human. Nanashi isn't some weapon for you to control anymore. Is she you okay? What are you looking at? I'm okay. Here goes! I'm okay because I have you with me. Let's go knock him around some more. Got it! Let's thank God! Damn kids! Don't get cocky! No! What are they? This one! Now she's free and right in front of us. It's finally right in front of us. It's right here. We can't lose at the very end. That was so lame. We're gonna beat you and open up a true path for Nanashi. That's what I'll do. Thank God! Here goes! Good. Now Nanashi is. I can't believe those kids could... <laughs> now that we're here, I think we'll be safe. I can't believe it. Did we really get away? Yeah. Now you're finally... You're free. Free? That's all I can do. What? You mean... You're not going to come with me? <laughs> Sorry. I can't tell you the reason, but I won't be able to go with you. Well, tell me. Who are you? I can't go into the details about it. Let's just say... I'm someone who wanted to free you. You did? But why? Why would you do that for me? I'm a nobody. A nobody? C 
Come on, you've got to be kidding me. That's not how I see you at all. To me, you're a really important person. You're my friend. That's why I wanted to save you, even if it meant risking my life. That's the new weapon, apparently. Who's that? Don't talk to it. It's dangerous. Apparently, it doesn't even change expressions when it takes people out. I'm sure the higher-ups will use it well. I guess, the way things stand now, there's no point in telling you. But the thing is, to me, you're you. And that is never going to change. That's why... What's wrong? I... I've been alone. For so long. Always somewhere dark. No one ever saw me as a person. I didn't think... I didn't think I had anyone on my side. But... But... There was someone who came and saved me. Not by chance, or on a whim. Someone came who called me a friend. I... I'm just... so glad. Honestly. <gasps> that I'm alive. Thank you. For saving me. Thank you for setting... me free. Yeah. Damn it, it's already time? Wait. What? I hate to say it, but it's time for goodbye. But before I go, there's something I need to tell you. All right. Listen close. You're not Nanashi now. Hikari. Hikari Uchiha. That's the name that your parents gave you when you were born. That's your real name. Live your life in a new place in the sunlight. Also, there's something that I want you to know about the ninja world. It isn't only suffering. Together, but we'll always be friends. Remember, you're never truly alone. Don't forget, I will always, I mean always, forever, I will be on your side. Boruto. Boruto! No, don't go. Boruto! Live a happy life. Hikari Uchiha! Boruto!
It's morning. I think I have a mission today. Where are you meeting? Hmm? Hidden Leaf Gate. Then don't be late. Okay, I'm heading out. Take See care. You later. It's been a while since we got together like this. Only for you, Konohamaru. You've been gone on another mission this whole time, huh? We received some information about a certain underground organization, and we did a clean sweep. Underground organization? What did they say again? They called themselves Zero. It seems like they had a lot of plans, but we were able to take them down pretty quickly. We had Sasuke's help, too. What? Dad was there too? Yeah, I think he said he'd be returning home soon. Yay! <laughs> well, well, look how happy you are. What's wrong with a daughter being happy to see her father? Nothing, it's just that you usually don't act that way. What about you? I bet you'll be happy to see my dad too. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what he'll teach me next. Since I'm trying to follow in his footsteps, I suppose I really want to be able to use all his jutsu. So I think the next jutsu I'll have him teach me is... <laughs> what? I was just thinking that you're even more cheery than usual. Oh, you too, Mitsuki? His voice seems lighter somehow. Did something happen? Hmm? Mm, no, not especially. What? You just got cheerier for no reason. Yeah, it's strange for me, too. When I woke up this morning, I just naturally had this warm feeling inside me. What? I don't get it. Hey, I don't know either. Konohamaru-sensei, Boruto is being weird. Hey! Honestly, you guys really do get along. How, How is, is this getting, getting along? along? <laughs> Now, that's enough small talk. Time to head to our mission. Okay, let's get this done quick so I can get ready to see my dad. Boruto, Mitsuki, let's do this. Right. Sure thing. Then let's go. What's wrong? Nothing. I thought the sun was warmer than usual today. Really? <laughs> okay, let's go. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day. I'm coming in. Hmm? We're ready for the meeting. Let's get going. What? Is it that time already? What are you reading? A scroll. I found it in the library just a little while ago. It contains an account of some of the things that happened behind the scenes. Back during the Warring States period. And why are you reading it? Well, there's something really interesting written at the end of it. So they brought it to me to check. What is it? You need to come look at it later. I have no idea why he's mentioned in it. What? This is a record of a girl who escaped the bonds of the Uchiha clan during the Warring States period and went on to live a life unconnected to any clan. The girl was once used as a weapon. However, one night during a full moon, she made the decision to escape the clan. She found a new name 
and a new life. After gaining her freedom, she would never be used for war again. She lived modestly, enjoying the sunshine and lived a happy life. With the trees and grass, calmed by the flowing rivers and surrounded by people, embracing normality. She almost never spoke of her past, but she would happily tell everyone about one incident in particular. We shall record a section of her anecdote here. In my days of being used as a weapon, I had nothing to live for as a person. During this time, surrounded by eternal darkness, a young ninja suddenly appeared and taught me about fate. His words of encouragement still give me light to this day. I haven't been able to reunite with him. I don't even know where he came from. That's why... I choose to believe that the joy of deciding my own fate... and my gratitude for happiness... will one day reach him. I will bestow these feelings to the sunlight. So that they may one day... Reach my friend, Boruto Uzumaki. <laughs> <laughs> 